could think the whole time was like, I just want to buy your album and like listen to your songs on repeat. What's your name? My name's Johnny Brooks. I'm 29 and I work as a janitor in a cathedral. In the last few years, I've done a number of different jobs. Sold solar panels, I've been a suit salesman, I manage the cafe. I currently work as a janitor in Belfast Cathedral. I mean, you name it, I've done pretty much everything you can try. <laughs> but music for me has been the one constant thing throughout my life. In primary school, I was in the choir. At that time, I was playing on the football team. <laughs> like the last thing people expected is to see this guy that plays football to come out and give his rendition of Eagle Eye Cherry Save the Night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I turned 11 and got my own guitar, that's when it became cool. It was that time when it, when it finally sort of struck a chord with me. No pun intended. <laughs> it was actually my mum that put me forward for the audition. It's the kick that I needed in the right direction. You need to just tidy yourself up there and <laughs> you're going on stage, you know. Oh, Johnny's a laid back character. <laughs> Make me proud and everybody else. Make yourself proud. He uh, doesn't like to stress too much, so I do all that for him. Probably won't like me to say that. <laughs> You'll enjoy it even more when you see one of those chairs turn. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> This is the biggest opportunity that, that I've ever had. You know, I've gigged, I've grafted, I've busked. This could completely change my life. I love you so much because it felt so powerful. What I loved is there was this one moment in the song where it just went quiet in here and you, you didn't say anything and you could just feel everyone in the room was just listening to every single note you were singing and the story that you was telling. Yeah. It was really, really fantastic, so well Thank done. You all. Loved Thank it. You. You captured it. You owned that song. Thank you. It's a Van Morrison song. You sang it, you delivered it, you captured the room. And that's not easy to do with a song like that. It's a tender song. Yeah. And, and you lived it. I wanted to hear as much of it as I could, <laughs> but as soon as it got down to the wire, I had to hit the button. I, I thought it was great. Thank you, Tom. Listen, I panicked. <laughs> 
Your voice is butter. It was great. That was one of the coolest moments of the entire day. Mm -hmm. I thought you I were going to turn. I, I thought it was two, and I freaked out, and I panicked. I should have listened to you guys. They were all like, do it. I made the wrong move, but hopefully I can see you later. So I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> great job. Thanks for coming here. Thank you're you, awesome. Mary. Thank you. You have a spectacular voice, and I know the show is called The Voice, but you look like a superstar as well. You stand the part, you sing the part, you look the part, you vibrate the part. I think you're awesome. <laughs> and you're in good hands with Tom and Ollie. This is a big moment for you to pick your coach, but at the same time, I think me and Tom will both say, whoever you decide to pick, me and Tom will, will give you, yes, two different coaches, but our goal is to, to, to give you the best experience and yeah. get you as far as possible in this competition. So, it. it's completely up to you. Thank you. It's your moment now to pick who you want to be coached with on this season. The crowd will help you with that decision. I hope they pick the right one. I think I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick to my guns on this one. I'm gonna go with the Tom. So the first pairing would be Johnny and Lara. I paired Johnny with Lara because. I could hear that they would compliment one another. Well, it's me, I'm dynamite, and I don't know why. My blind audition was a blur. Coming up to the last line of the song, I was ready to turn and walk off. That's when I saw the chair turn. That's when it became real in that second. Really something. I've always been so passionate about singing, but I stopped to raise my daughter. So when Tom turned for me at the blinds, I was elated. You did it effortlessly, and I couldn't help but press my button because you deserve <laughs> to be on this show. Thank you so much. And I'm going to show him he can have faith in me. I'm just going to work so hard. Beautiful. Beautiful. You both have lovely voices. Thank you. So, and you're lovely people, so I thought I'd get a lovely song for you to sing. <laughs> and the song that I chose is Us by James Bay. Sometimes I'm beating. Johnny is raspy and cool, and his voice is phenomenal. Laura is an amazing singer. Such a huge range. I'm trying to sort of work with that and also trying to compete with that at the same time. You sound really good together, you know. It's a battle. One has got to win and one hasn't. This is a problem for me. It's almost like flipping a coin, really. Battling to stay on Team Tom, it's Laura Amstead. I'm not underestimating Johnny. He's really going to rock it, so I've got to bring it. Taking on Johnny Brooks. I love working in the cathedral as a janitor, but the music is something that I've always wanted to do. For me now, this is the stage where let's go big or go home. Sometimes I'm beat, sometimes I'm broke, sometimes this city is nothing but smoke. Is there a secret? Is there a code? Can we make it better? Cause I'm losing hope. So tell me how to be in this world. Tell me how to breathe and feel no hurt. Tell me how, cause I believe in something. I believe in us. Tell me when the light goes down, that even in the dark we will find a way out. Tell me now, cause I, I believe. Something I believe 
it is time for you to make your decision. to go with Johnny. Shania Twain. When I first met Shania Twain, I felt starstruck. I just remember listening to her songs when I was about eight or nine, dancing around to I feel like a woman. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling after the battles? Pretty good, yeah. It's all uh, still kind of settling in. I feel a bit more confident now at every stage. The battles, I took a totally different approach. I had to work with someone, there was choreography, but it brought me out and it made me more comfortable to be up there on stage. It was always going to be hard, but once I finally got the, the yes, I kind of realised how much I wanted it. I have to go with Johnny. I am over the moon and I'm excited to see what the knockouts bring. For the knockouts, I have picked a song called Don't Let Me Down. The Beatles, of course, mm -hmm. you know, so. I love that song. It's obviously an incredible song, so it's kind of a big undertaking. Nobody ever loved me like she does. Oh! Ooh, she does. Sorry. <laughs> I meant to warn you about him. <laughs> I mean, I love John Lennon, but... Yeah. Whoa! He is just the most natural talent and really caught me off guard. You're not just a singer, you're an artist with a great voice. Do you play an instrument? Yeah, I play guitar. Oh, yeah, I can kind of tell actually. <laughs> so is it weird to sing without your guitar? I'm very much used to singing with it, like. Yeah. I've had a tendency to use the guitar as sort of a, a crutch, you know, to take the attention off me. Now do the same thing, but look right at me. Nobody ever loved me like she does. That's what you gotta do. You gotta connect. And it's a good thing for nerves, too. If you can get used to looking at the people, it's a very good point, actually. Don't be frightened. If you're gonna sing to people, look at them. You gave away the love. It's important for me to move forward and to grow my confidence on stage. I want this. I really do want this. <laughs> Megan, what did you think? Woo! All I could think the whole time was like, I just want to buy your album and like yeah! listen to your songs on repeat. You're amazing. Like the roar you have in your tone. It's so good. The music industry needs your quality of voice. I could see you in Tennessee 
working on your album, making a freaking amazing project. I love that. I love that. <laughs> Ollie. I just wanted to hear more and more. Why did it end? <laughs> That song was made for you to sing. Honestly, it was perfect choice for you. Thank you, all. Really, thank you. You nailed it. It sounds like you could put that out as a, as a single. The Beatles record was, was a great record, but you've put something else on it now, and that's hard to do with a Beatles song, so good on you. I loved it. Thank you. The what? The Johnny. Johnny, great to see you. You okay? How are you feeling since you got through? Cloud nine a bit still. Don't let me down. With every stage that you sort of progress through to, it becomes a little bit more real. You sort of think you could do this. Just hope I can keep going. Johnny is a special singer, I think, so I've got to try to make sure that the song is right to get the best from him. So there's a Lady Gaga song, Million Reasons. Yeah. So. I think I could give it a go. I mean, she sang it. I haven't heard a man sing it. Sounds good already. Singing Lady Gaga is unlike anything that I've done before. I'm excited to see what I can do with something that I wouldn't necessarily be fully comfortable with. The choice of song is a risk, and I really don't want to fall at this stage. Yeah! It's, it's right there now. For me, it is, anyway. Good. It's amazing. <laughs> I believe in you. That's all you're going to do now is believe in yourself. So close to the final, it really is all or nothing now. I just have to keep the faith. You're giving me a million reasons to let you go. Giving me a million reasons to quit the show. Giving me a million reasons. Give me a million reasons. Giving me a million reasons. About a million reasons. If I had a highway, I would run for the hills. You could find a driveway, I'd forever be still. Give me a million reasons. Give me a million reasons. Give me a million reasons. I bow down to pray. Try to make the world seem better. Lord, show me the way to cut through all this worn out land. Need one good one to stay. Baby, I'm bleeding, bleeding. Oh, can't give you what I'm needing, needing. I bow down to pray. Cause I don't make the world seem better. Oh, show me the way. that decision though Tom you both sing wonderfully well but I think I think I think the right decision is um, Johnny Brooks <laughs> how did you feel when you first did the blind audition I remember walking onto the stage and just standing there and the legs started to shake a bit <laughs> and I don't know why. part of me thought that was gonna be it I always hoped that you would turn around so when you did, you probably see it in my face. Is that right? The most nervous I've been 
was the battle because it was the first time that I was standing there without my guitar. I have to go with Johnny. Well, I remember just being on a cloud nine. From the moment I heard Johnny sing, I thought he would be in the final. There's a connection, the way you sing and the way I sing. When you hear that from Sir Tom, it always just instills you with some belief in yourself. Johnny Brooks. The first thing that I thought of when he said my name was, I get to do a duet with Sir Tom now. The song I was thinking about is called Drift Away. A man called Dobie Gray mm -hmm. did it. And my late wife, Linda, used to say to me, why don't you sing that song? And this is a perfect opportunity. When I heard why it was special to him, it sort of hit home how much of a privilege it was for me to be able to do that. Give me the beat, boy, to free my soul. Sir Tom is just as amazing as I thought he was going to be. I'll be eternally grateful for what he's done, for the coaching, for the help. I feel in myself that I've probably already won in some way. Day after day, I'm more confused. Yet I look for the light in the pouring rain. Oh, that's a game that I hate to lose And I'm feeling the strain Ain't it a shame? Oh, give me the beat, boy, to free my soul I want to be lost in your rock and roll And drift away Give me the beat, boy, to free my soul I want to be lost in your rock and roll When my mind is free, you know a melody can move me. When I'm feeling blue, the guitar's coming through to soothe me. Thanks for the joy that you've given me. I want you to know I believe. Rhythm and rhyme and harmony You've held me alone Making me strong Oh, give me the beat, boys, and free my soul I wanna get lost in your rock and roll And drift away family are just happy now to see me doing what I love. Thanks for being with me at every stage. It's absolutely brilliant that you've got this far. And no matter what, Johnny, everybody's proud of you. I am proud of you, the whole family. Everybody's rooting for you. I am just so delighted to see you there, Johnny, as we all are. I'm just looking at you there with a big poster of Tom Jones Woo -woo. Yeah, in the background. Maybe your big poster will be up there fairly soon. <laughs> yeah! You can stress that end a bit. Yeah. Just for people to know that it's the end. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a long road, but I'm more ready now than I've ever been. This is the real important one now. Yeah. yeah. It's out of my hands, so it's up to you. Okay. It's going to be the most important performance of my life. I'd be lying to you if I said I didn't want to win. I'm in my bed And you're not here And there's no one to blame with the dream of my wandering heart Forget what I say 
I can now announce that the winner of The Voice 2020 is...